Making Tax Digital is part of HMRC's um, changes. Uh, the reason that they're making these changes is because they have ambitions to become one of the most digitally advanced tax administrations in the world. Millions of businesses are already banking online, um, paying bills online and interacting with their customers and suppliers online. HMRC need to keep up with this transformation not just to meet the expectations of those that are benefiting from it already, but so that everyone can start to benefit from these changes. The actual change for businesses to comply with MTD is that they need to maintain digital records and they need to use software that's able to submit that data via MTD APIs. So they need to ensure that they've got MTD compatible software or if they're using an agent, they need to ensure that their agent is using MTD compatible software. Making Tax Digital will eventually encompass all the different tax regimes, but at the moment there are two, only two areas impacted, and that's VAT and income tax. So income tax hasn't been made mandatory yet, but HMRC have already started to test out this functionality in this area by starting their pilot. The only legislated change we have so far is for VAT, and that impacts every business with a turnover above the VAT threshold, except for those businesses that already have an exemption to filing online. Businesses with a turnover above the VAT threshold will be required to maintain digital records and use MTD compatible software for their first VAT period starting on or after the 1st of April 2019. For businesses below the threshold, there is the, the chance that they will fall into line with the same regime at a later date, possibly the following year, but that still needs to be confirmed. So with regard to the submission and payment deadlines that currently exist, they will still continue under the MTD regime. So there's no change there. Businesses still have one month and seven days after the end of the quarter to meet those deadlines. Businesses need to start their preparations now. They need to look for the right tools in order to maintain their digital records and ensure that those tools are compatible with MTD. But in order to really benefit from making tax digital, they need to look at all the other features that are available in these tools, um, potentially things that will help them to run their business on a day-to-day -day basis much more efficiently. Despite MTD being made mandatory in legislation, businesses do need to go through a process of registering themselves with HMRC. Um, and they need to do that before they can make their first submission. They do that by completing a set of forms on the government website. Personally, I think it's a really good thing. It's the direction that the world is moving in. Businesses already make a lot of payments and interactions with their customers and suppliers online. I personally become really frustrated if I can't complete transactions or make queries online. I appreciate that it won't be ideal for everyone and some businesses may struggle with the switch to MTD at first. But in the long term, I think that there will be a lot more benefits and there are a lot of tools out there at the moment that are really easy and simple to use. We've been working with HMRC on MTD over the last two years and it's really good because it means that we've been able to influence the way MTD will work. It means that we've also been able to prepare our products and make sure that we're ready for the changes that are coming our way. Cashflow is enhancing its VAT functionality and welcoming a brand new taxes dashboard area which will help to manage VAT much easier within the product. It's also ensuring that it's compliant with all the new MTD APIs that HMRC are making available. If businesses are represented by an agent or an accountant, they need to start having conversations with them now. Uh, they need to work out who's going to be managing which elements of the situation. So regardless of whether a business is represented or not, they need to maintain digital records and they need to be clear on who is going to be handling the different elements of that process. Businesses can obviously go to the HMRC website, there's lots of information available on there. Alternatively, they can visit our Cashflow website where we have a dedicated Making Tax Digital Hub with lots of free resources available.